The Anti Show is intended for mature audiences. Parental discretion is advised. These are the voyages of the GNT Show. Our continued mission to explore Star Trek storytelling, to seek out new worlds and interesting characters, to Boliga, where no show has gone before. Live long and prosper, bitches. News. Hey everybody, it's Terry Lynn from the GNT Show, live from the floor of the 2016 Star Trek Las Vegas convention, the 50th anniversary of Star Trek. And with me today, I have the a wonderful man who we've just been talking to. I mean, I'm, you know me, and I've talked about it on the show a bazillion times. I'm a big cruiser. So I, I'm really thrilled to be able to uh, interview Dane Butcher from uh, Entertainment Cruise Productions, the people who are responsible for the Star Trek cruise, which is coming up in January, I believe, correct? Yeah, we're really excited. The first ever full ship charter. So the entire ship, we've rented uh, the Norwegian Pearl from the 9th through the 15th of January. We've chosen a great itinerary that we uh, customized and put together ourselves. And the crew sold out in four weeks. 2,400 people, all there for the same reason. And I'm so excited because we just sailed on it recently for six days so I could get acclimated with the ship to see every venue and every sort of restaurant and taste all the food. And... Um, and when you rent the ship, the entire ship, you get to do whatever you want. So to then be able to change some bars and change some venues and program the way we want to program for our fans and for the Star Trek fans, we're really, really excited. Well, that's really cool. Um, the Norwegian, just for, for those, again, who don't aren't big cruisers, the Norwegian line is really famous for their freestyle cruising, um, which means that you don't necessarily have regimented meals or something like that. Do you plan on keeping that kind of in the same vein with what you're going to be doing in the Star Trek cruise? You know, what's interesting is up until this year, we've always had structured seating with our cruisers. We've done like 60-odd full ship charters with music and, and other um, various brands. And we cruised on Norwegian. The shows will be structured, so you will either be a part of one show or the other, the late or the early. But no, the, the seating for the dining and all the various restaurants, there's so many restaurants that it's fantastic. And in fact, not that it's really been announced, so I'll... This is a bit of an exclusive, but we are creating our own restaurant, uh, and it, like a Star Trek restaurant. So that's going to be really cool as well, which I'm sure will be sold out before you even get on. Well, that's actually real. That's really, really cool. So tell me a little bit about the itinerary. What places will you be visiting? We are going to, we leave from uh, Miami and we head off to Cozumel. So we've got a great day at sea. And what's interesting is... The days at sea when you charter the ship and everyone's there for the same reason are the best days, better than the port days because that's where you have morning, noon and night, somewhat stuck on the ship for lack of better terms, but you're there and there's all these events and so they're actually the best days, but we are going to um, Cozumel in Mexico, we go to Great Stirrup Cay, uh, which is Norwegian's private island, we have it there exclusively, we're the only people there, we have the whole island to ourselves, so we are calling it our pleasure planet. And then we're off to wait NASA. A minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You guys are telling me you made Riza? <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. And uh, that night we're actually having Riza's Festival of the Moon party out on deck with a whole, uh, a whole band and festivities. It's going to be really fun. That's really, really cool. So after Great Stirrup K, where do you go? NASA in the Bahamas. And are those the only three stops? Yeah, I mean, it's six days, and so you've got two days at sea, you get on one day, and you got your three ports. And that's really, really amazing, you guys. See, I'm a big, like, I go, I go on big, long cruises now because they give me a lot of sea days, and I like the sea days best, mainly because I get that relaxation. But there's so much stuff to do on the ship, and that's what I feel like I pay for. So I think that's really kind of cool. Um, now, tell me a little bit about the stars that you have booked already. Well, you know, we started... When we when you get a real ship like a, a you know a, a cruise line and a ship, we've got to have a captain. So it made sense to have Mr. Shatner. 
So William Shatner's coming on. We've got John Delancey. We've got Denise Crosby, uh, Marina Sirtis, Terry Farrell, Jonathan Frakes. Uh, we've got the Enterprise Blues Band. We've got Jimmy Darren. We've got Joe Piscopo. We've got Chase Masterton. Um, we, we've got so many great actors. And we've also added uh, a couple of sort of well-known bands. We've got Yacht Rock Review and uh, doing our doing our uh, masquerade ball. It's actually Q's masquerade ball that we're having. We've got a big party out on deck and we're going to have the cherry poppin' daddies. Oh my God. For those who, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm having this stuff. Cherry poppin' daddies, Alio, Alio, I'm just telling you. Um, yeah, that's our song, babe. All right, so um, that's really amazing. The Enterprise Blues Band who we all know and love because we use their music for our show. Um, but also, Cherry Pop and Daddy's is entertainment. But who was the third one? I didn't catch. The- Yacht Rock Review, they're called. Okay, that's very cool. Yeah, they do a lot of covers, and they're, they're great. And then we're going to have a DJ on board, and he's going to DJ in um, our club, which happens to be the, it's a sister, sort of the sister club of 10 Forward. It's called 13 Forward. So that's going to be our nightclub. Um, so we've got a lot of a lot of things. That's really really cool. I want to make sure, and I just want to make sure everything's good. I was like, I started to panic going. I haven't looked at it. You guys, I'm horrible. I'm horrible. When I get the recorder on, I want to make sure it's still recording, right? It's still recording, right? Um, now, uh, one of the things that people had expressed concern about, but um, I am hearing rumors, is that this isn't going to be just a convention at sea, correct? In fact, it's the opposite. <laughs> Will there be panels? Yes. Um, I, I'm sure that all of the fans have heard a lot of the stories. And, and yeah, they're, they're going to be great panels. And we've changed some of the, the themes. And we've also got um, uh, a gentleman by the name of Lawrence Krauss coming on who wrote The Physics of Star Trek. Um, so we've got some interesting panels. Um, but we've also got our photo sessions and autograph sessions. But the, the real key to this is all the ancillary stuff. I mean, you're going to be able to go and you're going to be able to play a family feud, what we call it cruise feud, where TNG uh, against Deep Space Nine, the actors are competing. But you could be a part of that team as well on stage with them. Uh, you might be doing a wine tasting with Marina Sirtis. You could go rock climbing with Denise Crosby. You might wake up in the morning out on deck and then go and do yoga with Terry Farrell. So... We are going to take this to a whole new level. There are lunches and dinners and parties. And uh, if you want to go out on deck one night, um, you know, we're going to be scheduling. Robert Picardo is going to be doing stargazing. And, you know, with, with his background and, and the, the, you know, his planetary uh, knowledge, he's going to be out there with Lawrence Krauss and they're going to explain to you what you're looking up at. And on top of that, we're building a screen that the Norwegian ship doesn't have a screen, but we're building a screen on deck where you can literally lie under the stars in the middle of the ocean where you don't see anything else but stars and watch Star Trek. Oh, that's really, really awesome. Now, it's my understanding that 2017 Cruise is already sold out. It is. Oh, but there's a rumor that you've already... Well, it's not really a rumor anymore. (laughs) You've announced that there's a new one coming out for 2018, correct? Yeah, we're going to use the same... Well, we're going to use the sister ship of the Norwegian Pearl. We're going to use the Norwegian Jade. We sail on January 5th of 2018 through to January 11th. And that is Star Trek Mission 2. And we are, right now, we've only, we're only announcing one name. We're building up the lineup as we did last year. And our name thus far is George Takei. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. And do you already have the uh, itinerary out for that one? We do. The, what we're doing this year uh, in 2017 is we're going to, as I said, Great Stirrup K, that's our riser. And uh, in 2018, Norwegian actually, uh, in the middle of constructing, a new port, which is part of Belize, that they, they have actually exclusively rented for X amount of years, a part of Belize that they are recreating and are designing the called Harvest K. We will have that port exclusive to ourselves. Um, we're also going to uh, Roatan in Honduras, and then we go to Costa Maya in Mexico, and I chose that purely because it is the stop and the port where you go and visit the Mayan ruins, which I thought the fans will just love. So it's going to be a really cool itinerary. Now, where does it take out of? Miami. Miami. That's fantastic. That's a, heck, that's, that's a nice crossing of the uh, Caribbean Sea, that's for sure. Yeah, it, it's, and the weather's great at that time of year, and, you know, you get, for those on the East Coast, or, I mean, there are people all over the world coming, but especially for those on the East Coast and, and up north, to get out of that weather in the middle of January and get on the cruise and be able to, like, lie out in the sun, it's going to be great. 
Well, I am really, really thrilled. Hopefully my husband and I can uh, do something for 2018. I think that would be really great. I wasn't able to do 2017 just because of timing with another cruise we had planned, but um, I'm really excited to hear about this one. Congratulations on the success of the first one. And um, where can people find your sites? Star Trek The Cruise. It's it's as simple as that. StarTrekTheCruise.com. All the information's right there. And you can also sign up just to get all of the, you know, updates and, and information about our programming. And and uh, we work with CBS really closely. So they're always like, um, give you little tidbits, not just about the cruise, but also things about Star Trek as well. That's really great. Well, thanks again for joining us. And we will make sure that all of the links will be in our show notes underneath this um, player that you are now listening to on our site. Have a great day, everyone. And uh, I'll let Dane say goodbye. See you later. And live long and prosper. Music for the GNT Show is provided by Five Year Mission, Enterprise Blues Band, Warp 11, Andrew Allen, and Rest Four. The GNT Show is a BLB production. Move ahead, walk back to 10. Put a mini skirt on my own man. Be no cons or Kobe. Yeah.